Hi folks. I wanted to show my uh, my solar power setup that I have here on Camigan Island in the Philippines. And it took me a while to get this thing set up because I had no place to put the panels. And I finally got a place to do it, so I set the rest of this up. And I'll just explain what we have here. We have uh, these are four 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries, deep, and uh, they're they're sealed batteries, uh, sealed lead acid batteries. They're absorbed glass mat batteries. So we get four of them. And this this fifth one here uh, is one that I sent over here previously, and I'm not sure what I can do with it anymore because it it just reads 1.2 volts so it's got a problem and this is a Harbor Freight 750 watt 110 volt power inverter and I've got two of these but I'm only using one on this system and then here I have my MPPT charge controller that I bought on eBay and I've had this thing probably five or six years now uh, and I've got it all hooked up it's mounted to this board and here you can see I've got these these light switches these are on off switches to make this easier to connect and disconnect in case I need to and I need to put some fuses on here but right now I don't have any fuses. Uh, I need to get some. I can't get what I need here on Camigan Island. But the guy at the hardware store said he was going to get some stock for his store. And he said he would pick some up. So hopefully that'll happen sometime soon. And. I'm actually the light you see uh, that's not from the window uh, I have a I have a an LED light bulb powering this up it's only it only draws four watts it's pretty low low energy is uh, now I also have some of these Harbor Freight 5-in-1 portable power packs. I've got two of these things and I power, I power those uh, hooking those up directly to the battery bank and that's how I, I charge these up. Now I'm gonna do a demo on the uh, on the charge controller and we'll we'll see what it looks like. So here we've got a, a close-up of the of the charge controller, and uh, I've, I've got power coming in even though it's an overcast day. Uh, let's do a, a demo, and I've got low efficiency because the uh, the batteries are actually pretty full, and there's no not really much sun. But I am getting 28 watts come in, and uh, I've got uh, right now the batteries are 13.1 volts, and I have it set to go up to 13.7. Now, uh, all of these connectors that I've got, uh, they all have ring terminals on them, and they're soldered on. And that even includes inside the the light switch, the light switches that I have there. Those are those are all soldered on. The charge controller is a 20 amp charge controller, and I measured the amperage coming off of the the solar panels before I hooked this whole thing up, and I, I have about 14 amps coming in. And that's on a, a bright sunny day at, at, at noon. Now I've got the, the solar panels are not really hooked up properly. 
they're they're hooked up. Uh, I, they're mismatched solar panels, and I just have them wild, wired together in parallel. And it it seems to work, uh, probably not as well as it should. So that's a look at it. Uh, so I have uh, about 400 amp hours of of storage, and it's uh, it's the ultimate cell phone cell phone off-grid cell phone charger so we have a, an off-grid solar solar system here uh, 110 volts AC with with about 400 amp hours of, of storage and I did have this all set up more or less as you see here but I've done it better here in the Philippines back in the USA and I, I used to run my my desktop computer with it but here I can power some some lights and a fan and probably two two laptop computers and everything would work just fine uh, so in case of power outages which we have a lot of here on Comegan I at least have some alternative because uh, other than that uh, just sit here in the dark with a candle I guess so I'll show you what I have for solar panels so I wanted to show the the solar panels up on this tower that I I had some some guy make uh, believe it or not it took him four days to make that stupid thing uh, and then you know including that wooden frame that he made and then to mount the panels on there and I wired them together and they're all ground they're all grounded all those panels so that big one there is 270 watts the two smaller ones are 40 watts each and then that little one is a 20 watt so they're not they're mismatched and I'll have to figure out if they're, they're actually helping or harming my system uh, eventually eventually this tower will be replaced with a I'm gonna build one uh, or have a welder help me build one out of steel pipe anyway uh, that that's it that's a look at my my stuff and thanks for watching and have a great day wherever in the world you are thanks